So you want to try out clockwork, but you don't know where to start? Don't worry, because in just a few minutes, I'll show you everything you need to know to get it working for both Forge and Fabric. First off, make sure your mod folder is empty. This will eliminate any uncertainties in case anything goes wrong. Put whatever mods you have in another folder or zip them so that you can re-add them later. Clockwork requires Create Mod, so we'll install that first. Head over to CurseForge to get the version of Create that's compatible with Clockwork. Right now, that's Create 0.5.1 on Minecraft 1.18.2. I'll link the pages in the description for both the Forge and Fabric versions of Create. Select the Minecraft version on the right side of the page and then select the version of Create here. Once downloaded, put the file in your mod folder. If you're using the Fabric version, you'll also need to download the Fabric API mod here. To find the folder, type percent app data percent in your search bar. Click on the result, and then on the Minecraft folder, and then on the Mods folder. Take your mod file and put it here. Now let's start up Minecraft to make sure Create Mod is working. Make sure you're using the correct profile. This step isn't strictly necessary, but it's always useful to test your mod setup incrementally so that it's easier to troubleshoot in case a problem arises. Okay, so we know that our create mod is working, so now we can download and install Valkyrian Skies and Clockwork. To do this, follow the link in the description to the Valkyrian Skies Discord. The channel Clockwork Nightlies is where we can find the up-to-date files. Make sure you download both Valkyrian Skies and Clockwork, and that you have the version that's applicable to the mod loader you're using, that's Forge or Fabric. If you're on Forge, you'll also need a mod called Kotlin for Forge, which you can get by following the link in the description. Once downloaded, put the files in your mod folder and start up Minecraft. Congratulations, you've downloaded and installed Clockwork. Hopefully everything will be working properly, but if it isn't, double check to be sure that you follow the steps outlined in this video. If you still have problems, you can check the Discord to see if anyone else has a similar problem and if they found a solution. Once you have Clockwork up and running, you might find it useful to watch this video where I explain the basics of how things work in Clockwork. Thank you for watching.